kind of fun, actually. So I'm going to read two more. Um, next one's Haley. And uh, they've actually decided to, um, to get married. They're trying to get to the courthouse. But the court's closed, so they hang out in the park. And this is uh, April 19th, 1984. You uh, can think of the KGB and Ames. John Wayne Gacy goes. We got the Rwanda genocide, 500,000 go. Nicole Brown Simpson and Ronald Goldman go. Uh, national health care becomes an issue. That fellow Newt Gingrich is in the news. The Taliban surrounds Kabul. Oklahoma City. 167 go. All right. Got that in your head, 1994? Dial up those colors and those songs, those smells. Sam's filthy fine. I'm not. The world's too petulant. But we drive for it. And we're five roads startle. Sam poops a cairn of marble. The air smiles deciduously. He smiles too. We keep driving, searching now for someone to legitimize our union. Worry so plenty gets me turning my left wrist tin twist. But no one can challenge our run enough to stop me. Iowa rads just jaw-dropping our blurby. So astounded them don't even try. What comes around goes around. Horn bladderworts desist pitifully while our Ford Bronco streaks for the protensive hitch we so wistfully slept for, loose off and ripping it. And though a creepy chill starts racing my heart, Sam and I mosh on, stopping soon amidst throngs of dirtbags and Zeeks. I'm even these, lost, trapped, a flannel circle of needle grabs and pipe glass, circling ever back to their garbage band blast of pluck drum and guitars, offering the ongoing hangover, no apologies. Sam just scouting the skinny for getting tied. He persists, pervasive, even if everyone rebukes. Not permitted, not together. You're too young. Manitoba maples succumb, tulip poplars too. We hurtle along by roadside disputes and property feuds, counselors, bounty hunters, traffic busters, but no one bothers us. We are unpursued. We cannot be stopped heading for the courts. All closed. Temporarily. Curious. We, we wait around the block at a park. Sam takes my hand reassuringly. Security racking their rounds. Leaves us alone. Departs. Then along comes a ground lass dragging a rake. Lounges on our bench. Smokes a cigarette. A pack. Smokes a week. Do you have the time? We are the time. <laughs> Too cool for school, you two, she highs. Kind of you to stick around, though. Even if you do bring up how much I miss my gal. Sharing with someone so dope. And she's kind. Pausing each time on her rounds to kick back with us. We're getting married, I try. Drop dead twice. Sam and I both shrug. Her. It's a, rigor it's a rigmarole that depends on social permission. Mutual approval is not enough. Then she cries for a while. Perhaps you can still find her, Sam Gentles. Oh no, that's over. What went down? Just how it sometimes goes. No round hat, no square hat. Just the mush of wants and needs that never add up. But life's big. If you can't fix it, give it a spin. Which stings me something awful until Sam's tender touch soothes me. Here, the grounds gal coughs, somehow strange, some way weird. I suddenly want to run. If the courts deny you, catch up with my friend. Halfway illegitimate, but giving Sam then the way there before returning to her mower. I'll leave me alone now. 
And turning to stroll, the blood of bounty hunters, PIs, and hovering huddas runs cold while Sam passes by. Longings without answer ever. Who can suffer that strain? All scatter, profoundly afraid. Sam laughs at their shaking rears, streaking away, and does a headstand. Stands on the wind, holds the world up. When I tickle his ribs, adulterers split, fearing the world will fall. Though for Sam, it ellipses. And pretty quickly, too. Even if I am paltry against our, against our binding course, we're off for, some more, for more fun, Sam bounds on, outwardly even, mischievously. The court's open, I flutter somehow creeps me out. Sam the whips around and whoop, there it is, commences to bounce, ballerific, swinging me around, popping revel taze, balanades, both toes pointed and arms flung overhead, while I bumble pirouette on point, hop, until he scoops me up, lifting me high, tossing me higher, for a turn drop catch, effortlessly controlled, until at last I'm laid out beneath his green eyes with flecks of gold, relaxing me with gentle kisses. We'll be married soon, for sure. How tenderly now he holds me, his careful breath warmly caressing my ear, and I'm confident again. We mustn't waste a minute. Zippity-doo, fast passes and kicks, and we scurry, I trip over gardens, by ponds, down a sod path towards all I want. I even giggle. Both of us so excited, we pause for kisses and hugs, almost to tumble down on the ground, already fumbling for a fast fool around. Except we don't. Let's hurry. Hurry it is, I hustle. Sam's open oracle, so wonderful to me, leads on.